and, 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 and he can ask a father to send his child to him to work close to him. An 18-year-old has happened not that long ago. A Russian student sent his 18-year-old to the Galleria. It's where Robert lives and he has his meetings. and That's why I'm doing this, to be sure that this is going to be stopped, that no child will ever have to go through this. No 18-year-old, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, no. My, my, my biggest concern is that we cannot protect neither the children, neither young men, neither each other. We, we have not seemed very successful. It's a, it's a masked institution. It's very sad that one person can get something like that going to gratify his own desires. With no conscience, this man is sick. It's very sick, and it's still happening, and very intelligent people are still believing him. Yeah. Uh, my name's Ames Gilbert. I joined the Fellowship of Friends in um, the end of 1978, and I left in uh, November um, the 6th, 1994. So I was in for a long time. I was one of the earliest recruits. And because the fellowship was so small, I could see the results of, let's, you know, some criminal activity like Burton's. I could see what happened. I could see that reverberating around, and because the pond is so small, I could see the reverberations coming back again. I wasn't asked to work <laughs> any particular hours. I was given jobs to do, right. and uh, it was a very frenetic um, uh, work pace. So I l copied the people around me. So for 18 months, the average hours were 18 hours a day, including many operations lasting up to five days with no sleep at all. And that was uh, quite common. There was other people that worked harder and longer than I did. And it was very exciting to be around. The average age was probably 25, you know, people in their prime, working towards a common goal. So it was self-feeding. It was very exciting and self-feeding. We all fed each other. Uh, they weren't upfront about having a teacher. I'd, I asked questions. Um, in hindsight, I know that I was told some lies about things like his celibacy by a person who was actually, at that time, that's uh, Peter B., uh, actually at that time having a relationship with him. The sex with followers, that is not the act of a conscious being and has never led in my research to anything but harm for the people involved. There was the straw that broke the camel's back and that was the Busby affair. Um, when the elder Busby sent round a letter explaining how he had been seduced by Burton uh, as a member of the guard, uh, at the guardhouse. Um, and, but the thing, the real thing was when he said, when I started to make inquiries, I found out that my own son had been seduced by Burton under age. The results of all his actions have brought him what he wants. He's got. Uh, luxury and power and adoration and sex, um, everything that he wants. So for him, his life has turned out exactly right. It, but the price is not worth paying. The price in other people's suffering is not worth paying. I'm Victoria Wilde Zyshek. I joined in 1978. I really didn't talk much when I was in the Fellowship of Friends when I was around um, other members. Well, I was always really nervous and I don't think I ever said anything. It just, you know, just terrified really. I really didn't like the way um, members interacted with one another. I thought it was very cold 
and um, very unhomelike. They had this exercise where you couldn't use the word I, you had to refer to yourself as it. Robert Burton was asking women to give up their children and I was very uncomfortable with both of those things. My husband knew for years that Robert Burton was homosexual and using, you know, young men who were members and I didn't know. He didn't tell me. He didn't share that with me. I found out when a, a good friend of ours was abused. My husband was, was best friends with his father and, you know, we watched Troy grow up. And I knew him when this was happening, when, when uh, Burton first started inviting him to come over. And I remember he got, he got ulcers. It seemed, it seemed like something odd was going on with him. He didn't talk about it. I, you know, I didn't really know, but when I looked back on it, I knew there was something wrong. Everything's controlled. The way you think is controlled. Um, can't really talk about anything. Um, one man at the head and his word is God, you know. At a meeting, some members had stood up and asked rather provocative questions and they were thrown out uh, of the fellowship the next day. It's an evil organization. It's just, um, it has nothing to do with spiritual growth. Um, it's a cult. Um, everybody who's there is abused in some way on some level. If I had known what was going on, I could not have been a part of that organization. I didn't ask questions and I regret that deeply.